Hi guys and welcome back. I'm going to be decorating my coffee bar. I'm gonna transform it into a Halloween and spooky coffee bar. It's actually my first time me decorating this little area for Halloween. Can't wait to display my mugs. And also, don't forget to see other coffee bar ideas. I do have a couple for fall and many more. Okay, so first things first, I like to have everything wiped and clean and that's what I did. So we are gonna be decorating the walls. I wanna put this sign up that says trick or treat and then from there I'm gonna see if I could add some bats all around, give it that spooky look. So this is how it's looking with the sign and the bats and they are black and glittery. I always talk about these but these are from Kirkland's and they were at the year I got them are 1999. I think they went up a price but to be honest it's good quality. I've had this sign for quite some time and this one is from Joann's. I'm gonna keep this tear tray right over here. We're gonna add some mugs and I always add a tray in the center but this year I'm gonna add this trivet little piece that I got at Target. I actually got this yesterday and I think it is so adorable and this one is from the Hearth and Hand collection so let's add this. And then on top of these I'm going to add my glass jars and you guys already know we're going to add some treats in the jars. On one of them, I'm going to be adding some Oreos. And I like these Oreos because they have different designs on them. And not even that, I like how the cream filling is in the color of orange. And then the next jar, I'm gonna be adding some peeps. These are the nice ghost peeps and they are my favorite. Okay, I feel like the treats are always the winner in decorating. So you could say now it's like a candy bar, a Halloween coffee bar, who knows? But if you make yourself a hot chocolate, you could always add these peeps. Like they're so adorable. I just love these little ghosts. And then these cookies are always great to snack on. Okay, so next I'm gonna be decorating my tear tray. We're gonna be adding the mugs. So I'm obsessed with mugs. I did actually buy two more this year I got this ghost one I got this one at Target and I finally found it I've been wanting this ghost mug in quite some time now so I'm excited I got the ghost mug another new mug is this one right over here and I just love the whole spookiness of this from the moon to the bats and then there's a little house here and then you can see like a little cat there there's like so much details into this mug and i got this one at tj maxx this jack-o-lantern one is from joann's this one i got it at michael's and then this one's from tj maxx as well and this one's new from this year this one says hey boo and this one's from target i think i'm also gonna add this one this one's a cauldron and this one i got it last year at target
So I added two mugs up here. This one says Witch's Brew and the Cauldron one. And I used this mug topper that my cousin gave me. And I love it. I use it for fall, but I think it's still cute for Halloween. And then I added this potion bottle right over here just to make it nice and spooky and then down below i added my ghost mug then i have this pumpkin back here that i got at bath and body works you can add string lights in here and i think that would be very nice it'll give it a nice spooky glow and then i added this mug my jack-o-lantern one here so now i'm going to be decorating this side i'm probably going to add my ghost mug and some pumpkin plates that i have Okay, I think this is so cute. So I stuffed a little peep in this little candle holder. This one is from Bath and Body Works. Okay, so this is how it's looking. I'm debating if I should just move this back there. For meanwhile, I think I'm gonna be decorating that little side over there. So I ended up adding the ground cinnamon right over here. I have this sign back here that says 31 October and there's a little spider here and then the material's like a nice burlap. And then right here we have this copper looking tea kettle pumpkin and I think it's so cute. Really love this. So I think this just looks nice right over here. And then in the middle I ended up adding the ghost inside the candle holder. I love the top on this. I ended up adding this mug and I'm gonna add some straws in there. So these are the straws I'm gonna be using. They are from the brand of My Mind's Eye. And I like what it says, Sip Sip Hooray. And these are reusable. Look at the pretty little picture right there. And this one was $3.99. So I ended up switching this mug. I wanted to display this one just because it's new. And I just put away the other ghost mug. And then I added those straws in there. And they are so cute. I can't wait to start using these. And guys, that is it. This is how I decorated my spooky coffee bar. And that is going to be it with today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more videos to come. With all that said, have a spooky day, guys.